uh, anchor babies, their parents, their grandparents. We're going to put kids in cages. It's going to be glorious. No, he's not joking, actually. This is Mike Davis. Don't worry, I looked him up for you because I didn't know who he was either. And uh, I had to write it down because I couldn't even remember after I read who he was, who he was. He is the former chief counsel for nominations to Senate Judiciary Chairman Chuck Grassley. He also started some internet accountability project where they fight back against the woke mob, which must not be doing too well considering I had never even heard of it before. Anyway, he is a nobody with some bold opinions. Mike, I've never called for lava to rain down from the heavens, but maybe upon Washington, D.C., would you be that sweet red hot lava for us? I've never been called sweet, and you call me sweet ginger, so I, I think I meant then. Um, but during my three-week reign of terror as Trump <laughs> acting attorney general, before I get chased out of town with my Trump pardon, I will rain hell on Washington, D.C. Always good to start with um, raining fire on the institution that rules our lives. We've talked about this, Ben. I have five lists uh, ready to go, and they're growing. List number one. We're going to fire. We're going to fire a lot of people in the executive branch, in the deep state. Number two, we're going to indict. We're going to indict Joe Biden and Hunter Biden and James Biden and every other scumball, sleazeball Biden, except for the five-year-old granddaughter who they refused to acknowledge uh, <laughs> uh, for five years until the political pressure got to Joe Biden. Number three, we're going to deport. We're going to deport a lot of people, 10 million people and growing. I love talking about human beings as though I'm just shuffling cattle across borderlines. Ah, we're going to deport the uh, 10 million people, probably more. I don't know. I'm going to try and see it, what the highest number I can get is. But these are human beings. You can't just talk about them like they're numbers. Uh, anchor babies, their parents, their grandparents. We're going to put kids in cages. It's going to be glorious. We're going to detain a lot of people in the D. See Gulag uh, and Gitmo and uh, list number five. I'm going to recommend a lot of pardons. Every January 6th defendant uh, is going to get a pardon, especially my hero, Horn Man. Uh, he is definitely at the top of the pardon list. <laughs> I, we, we actually went out and uh, have some upcoming content with Jacob Chansley. We did a podcast interview with him. Uh, went, out, went out into the desert. We wanted to learn about shamanism, so we went out into the desert with him. We'll be releasing that video uh, pretty soon, actually, and I, I think you'll like it quite a bit. Mike. Yeah, I love ending this clip with, um, we hate other countries and cultures, and we're going to deport anyone from another country or culture, especially if they're brown. But uh, we're going to learn about a concept from another culture and probably bastardize it. You just gotta love the irony of that one. If you wonder why we keep fighting, it's because there are people out here like this who want to keep kids in cages. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to check out some of my content that isn't news related and need a little bit of a laugh break, please check out my personal YouTube channel at Bad Gamer Wyatt. And until then, I will see you in the next video. Thank you.